I'm Thaddeus, and welcome back to Ask a Dev. Today's question comes from Lee. Lee asked, is HomeKit ready for prime time? Thanks for the question, Lee. HomeKit was introduced as part of iOS 8 at last year's Worldwide Developer Conference. Since then, there's been a lot of interest in HomeKit, both from longtime home automation fans, as well as folks interested in trying out this cool new tech. Unfortunately, it's almost a year later and there still aren't HomeKit enabled accessories available on the market. Now this doesn't mean that there hasn't been any progress. A number of new devices were announced at CES in January and we've seen a steady stream of similar announcements since then. It looks like manufacturers are close to shipping hardware, so we could start seeing things on the shelves very soon. In the meantime, developers can start building their HomeKit apps today. Apple provides a HomeKit accessory simulator which makes it possible to interact with the HomeKit APIs in lieu of real devices. The simulator currently supports all of the HomeKit accessory service types, fans, garage doors, lights, locks, outlets, switches, and thermostats. It's also likely that Apple will introduce new service types this year at WWDC, maybe irrigation controllers, cameras, and other types of security services. Now, in addition to the accessory services, HomeKit includes classes for organizing homes into zones, rooms, and service groups. These collections make it possible for Siri to know where devices are located and how they're related. When a light is set up in a HomeKit room, it's possible to say, Hey Siri, turn on the kitchen lights, or Hey Siri, turn off the lights upstairs. HomeKit also includes action sets, which are changes that can be applied to different devices simultaneously. Action sets make it possible to create presets in a home. For instance, an away action set could turn off the interior lights and turn the front porch lights on. These action sets can be run manually from inside an app or with triggers. Now the trigger APIs are pretty sparse right now, so this is another area that Apple will undoubtedly add functionality this year. Now as you can see, the HomeKit APIs include a lot of really cool functionality that's ready for developers to start building on. The next version of iOS will undoubtedly include a bunch of new features as well, which means it's a great time to start digging through HomeKit. Jump into the documentation, fire up the HomeKit simulator, and keep a close eye on what's announced next month at WWDC. Thanks for watching this episode of Ask a Dev. As always, tweet your questions with hashtag AskADev or leave them in the comments below.